You've had a crush for a while, but now you're starting to think it could be more than you really liking them. Has sexual tension developed between the two of you? Do they feel it too? Sex expert and relationship coach Carmel Jones explained to Cosmopolitan that sexual tension is basically the feeling that something sexual needs to happen to resolve the tension between two or more people. Relationship therapist and sex educator Rachel Wright also explained that it usually happens before any sexual contact is made, noting that sexual tension can linger for weeks or even years after contact is made. So how can we tell if this crush of yours feels that tension too? Or rather, how do you know if this is sexual tension or just butterflies in your stomach? Well, here are some signs there's likely sexual tension between the two of you. Feeling euphoric? To the heart races. As your crush entered the room, usually before, you would get a gentle smile and butterflies in your stomach, but now there's something more between the two of you. Suddenly, you feel your heart start to race. According to Healthline, attraction causes a boost in the chemicals oxytocin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. This surge of chemicals can make you feel euphoric and cause physical reactions like making your heart race faster. If you're feeling a bit euphoric just at the mere sight of them and it gets even more intense when they look at you, it may just be sexual tension. Holding that eye contact. How long do you two hold eye contact with each other? Think about how long you make eye contact with your friends and acquaintances. Then compare that with your crush. Is there a lingering moment before turning away? Healthline explains that the coy gaze where you make eye contact and then look away is a common nonverbal flirting cue, according to a 2014 study that looked at flirting styles. This type of flirting is bound to be present between the both of you when there is sexual tension. Can you feel their gaze? Always on your mind. You just can't seem to get distracted. They're always on your mind. Do they randomly pop up in your thoughts? When they're there, do you have a difficult time focusing? Do you find yourself lost in a daydream about them? Sure, crushes can fall into your daydreams, but when there's sexual tension as well, it may be even more difficult to stay focused when they're around. If they're always on your mind, you may even bring them up to others all the time. An article from Healthline explains that if you keep bringing them up in convos that really have nothing to do with them, it's called mentionitis. And if you have sexual tension with someone, chances are you're guilty of it. Guilty or not guilty? How do they hug you, touch you? Rachel Hoffman explained to Insider that when someone likes you, he'll put his hands around your back when he's talking, or maybe he guides you through a crowded bar. She adds that if he reaches for your hand, then you can almost guarantee that he's into you. Another way to possibly see if they feel sexual tension is to see how long their hugs last with you. Is it a lingering hug on their end, a brush of the hand afterwards, or a quick pat on the back with no eye contact? Touch can be very important when it comes to initial sexual tension. If you like them, you're hoping for the lingering hug, folks. Why am I smiling? Why are you so funny? They tell an unfunny joke, yet somehow you can't stop smiling and laughing. Researcher and award-winning sex educator, Justin Limiller, PhD, explains in Men's Health that when people feel an overwhelming attraction to each other, a lot of positive effects tend to be exchanged, and that includes frequent smiles. Even simply looking at your crush makes you smile. You can't help but feel that energy, that tension, and smile at the first sign of eye contact, unless you've already shyly turned away. Lemiller also explains that smiling is a natural response when someone makes you feel good, and it creates this feedback loop where one person smiles and that gets the other to smile even more. Lemiller notes, it's also the case that when you're really into another person, you tend to think all of their jokes are funnier. Ah, so that's why there's suddenly a comedian in your eyes. Awkward or flirty? If you notice your crush flirting with you, you're off to a good start. Maybe there's some lighthearted flirty teasing or maybe they often compliment you with some flirty eye contact. But what if they're naturally shy? What if you're naturally shy? That may leave you with less flirty interactions initially and a few moments of still silence between the both of you. And then suddenly you're asking yourself, is this sexual tension? It's a bit awkward, but you still feel a spark between the two of you. You could always ask them first, but if you'd first like a hint as to what they might be feeling, view the situation unbiasedly and look for those smiles and giggles 
as well as those gazes and lingering touches. Notice their body language and how they react before assuming your feelings mean they feel the same way. Do they look uncomfortable? Or are they smiling and meeting your gaze? But most importantly, know that awkwardness isn't always a bad sign. In fact, those moments of silence or awkward pauses between the both of you, opening up about yourselves can foster intimacy. According to psychotherapist, Dr. David Bratcher, the birth of intimacy is often awkward. We put ourselves on the line by revealing our innermost thoughts and feelings. We make ourselves vulnerable to painful rejection. If we are too afraid of appearing awkward, we may keep others at a distance. We may also find we attract those who would rather keep things superficial. So perhaps it's best to enjoy that silent moment after a nice flirt. That way you can really sense the sexual tension if it's present. Be sure to look out for their body language as well. Are they smiling enthusiastically, flirting, or are they shifting uncomfortably in their seat? Looking towards the door, avoiding eye contact at all costs, let's hope they think you're an amazing comedian instead. So do you think there's sexual tension between you and your crush? Share with us in the comments down below. When in doubt, just ask them if they're as attracted to you as you are to them, or simply ask them on a date to see if you both feel that emotional connection and sexual attention. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.